southern BC Canada is currently undergoing nesting catastrophes. As of November 21st, 2021, this is not limited to the severing of all major routes in and out of Metro Vancouver, including the country's main highway, Highway 1, pipelines and power lines. Cessation of rail lines and other consequences such as the rationing of fuel to 30 litres per visit and restrictions to non-essential travel. An atmospheric river where one month of heavy rain fell in two days drove this event. Merritt and Princeton, relatively warm conditions and snowmelt added to the storm, and hydrophobic scorched land that existed after a devastated wildfire season made light work of the destruction of numerous bridges and roads. Also, the former Sumas Lake refilled, submerging homes, destroying property, killing livestock, and creating food insecurity. I'm going to use my past experience as a geological scientist to quickly explain what happened with the lake. First of all, Sumas Prairie, where the extensive flood occurred, spans from BC Canada into Washington State, USA. The prairie was created by draining Sumas Lake in the early 20th century. A specific geographic extent is from Vetter Canal, BC to northwest Whatcom County in Washington. The Nootsack River, which flows north of Bellingham and Washington State towards Bellingham Bay, overflowed into Canada into the Sumas River. Normally, four pumps at the Barrowtown pump station keep the Sumas Prairie from pooling, but the Sumas River breached a dike, causing devastation. As mentioned, this area used to host a lake. Sumas Lake was a shallow freshwater lake with partially sandy bars. The lake had supported sturgeon, trout, salmon, and grizzly bears. In re recent glacial times, the area had been covered with ice. The extent of Sumas Lake was the result of a collapsed ice dam on the Chilliwack River. The lake would regularly expand and contract with the seasons. Between 1920 and 1924, the lake was drained for flood control and land reclamation. The idea was to make more fertile land for farmers and was sold off in the 1930s. This land is near sea level, but more importantly, is below the elevation of the Fraser River. When the lake existed and the water filled the lake to a level equal to the Fraser River, the lake would naturally empty via the Sumas River towards the sea. Currently, the Fraser River is higher than the flooded lake level and contributes to filling it. Other floods have occurred here in 1948 and 1990. A federal report in 2019 produced a worst-case scenario forecast if the dikes failed and left Sumas Prairie under more than three meters of water. We are currently experiencing the worst-case scenario now, and the lake has returned. Now, the mayor of Abbotsford announced that the Canadian Army would build a levee to replace the broken dike and prevent further flooding. With more rain in the forecast, residents are waiting to see what happens next. For up-to-date imagery and footage of the situation, please see our other videos.